Hey guys, it's G2 Technology, and today you're going to learn how to make a plugin that will allow you to smite a, the location that you're staring at with lightning, or smite a certain player with lightning. It's uh, a little bit more uh, complicated than the anti-grooving tutorial that I made, but it's uh, less coding than the auto-broadcasting tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. Go to bucket.org, go to craft bucket recommended builds, and click on the top one. Now from the sidebar, click on Jenkins right there in the top left. Alright, now go to Dev Bucket at the very top. And download the latest snapshot. Right click it, save link sync uh, or download link target. And then go to your server folder. Make a new folder called development or just dev and save it as bucket.jar. All right, we don't need Safari anymore, so we can just quick that. Oh, sorry, it's still downloading. All right, so now we can quit that. Now, in Eclipse, which you can download from eclipse.org or .com, I can't remember which, we're going to make a new project, so go to File, New, Java Project, and we'll call it Smite. Alright, now right click your project in the package explorer and choose new and then package. We'll call this me.yourname, so I'm going to write geekplay, dot smite with a capital S. Right click the package that you just created and go to new and class and call it smite. Alright, now let's go ahead and import our bucket resource so that we can uh, use certain calls and methods that doesn't normally exist in Java. So right click your smite project, go to properties, java build path, add external jars, locate your dev folder or wherever you stored bucket.jar and use that. You don't need to use your craft bucket server because that's not necessarily what the plugins are made to use. So press OK. Alright so now that we've got that imported for public class smite just type after that extends Java plugin so that the server now recognizes this as a bucket plugin. Go ahead and import that. And here we go. Hang on. Alright. Okay. So our first public variable will be our plugin variable. So type public static smite plugin. So as you can see, we've stated our variable, and it's public, it's static, and the type of the variable plugin is smite. So the variable plugin is of the type smite, which is just saying, instead of typing smite every time, we just type pu uh, plugin. So beneath that public variable, type public final logger with a capital L, logger again with a lowercase l, equals capital L logger dot get, capital L logger, uh, parentheses, quotation marks, Minecraft, and semicolon. So as you can see, now we have our logger, our server log, imported into our project so that we can contact it, send messages messages to it, and read it. Uh, instead of typing logger .get logger Minecraft every time, we just type logger. So just take a few moments and uh, make sure everything looks like this. And I'll go a little bit slower because I think I'm going a little bit too fast. So again, uh, the plugin, variable plugin, is of the type smite. So instead of typing smite every time, we're typing plugin. And the variable logger is of the type logger. And instead of typing logger.getlogger Minecraft every time, all we have to do is type lowercase logger. Now, uh, every plugin needs a way to handle the event when it is disabled and enabled. So let's go ahead and implement that in. So type public void on disable parentheses open and closing and then open curly bracket and press enter and it should close that off for you and type plugin description file capital P D and F PDF file the capital F equals this dot get description what this will do is it'll get the name and description and version of our plugin that we will state in a file later on 
So go ahead and import plugin description file. All right, and then moving on to the next line, we're going to actually contact the server log, which we stated earlier, and we're going to tell the server log that the plugin is now disabled. So go to this, so type this.logger.info, parentheses, PDF, capital F, file, dot get name, capital N, close, opening and closing parentheses, plus, quotation mark, is now disabled with a period, and then add a semicolon at the end of that line. So what that will do is, using the variable that we stated, that gets the description, name, and version, we are getting the name, and we are saying the name of our plugin is now disabled. So in this case, smite is now disabled. So we're going to do the exact same for our enabling process. So just go ahead and copy this whole thing that we just typed and paste it again. Let's take a few moments to make sure that everything's typed out correctly. You shouldn't have any errors on those two lines that we just typed. All right. Now with our pasted block, do replace on disabled with on enabled. So now we have two. We have on disabled and on enable. All right. And make sure that says public void on enable, not on enabled. And it's on disable, not on disabled. So right here where we said, uh, where we pasted it in again, we're going to change it from is now disabled to is now enabled. And why not include our version number two? So PDF file dot get name, then version, closing front uh, quotation mark plus PDF file dot get version instead of name plus quotation mark. So now it says smite version, I guess 1.0 is now enabled. So there you go. Let's close out of some of this. All right. So now we have handled when our plugin is enabled and disabled. Let's handle um, the actual smiting itself. This will be done by command, and it uh, will handle the, uh, the commands for when it when you want to smite a player or if you want to just smite the location you're looking at. So let's go ahead and do that. Type public boolean, which is a true or false. It gives us the result true or false. On command, command sender. comma, command, cmd, comma, string, command, label with a capital L, comma, string, opening and closing, square brackets, args, and then opening curly bracket. So you'll need to do some importing. And I should say command sender, sender, instead of command sender. So again, if that's confusing, just look. Make sure you got everything correct. Import anything that needs importing. Make sure you're importing from Bucket, not Minecraft. All right, and it's going to give you that big red line. Don't worry about that yet. All right. So we got our sender being imported. The sender of the command, we got the command itself. The command in string form, the very first part of the command and the different arguments, which are the different parts of the command. So like if we say slash smite geek player, geek player would be argument number zero. And if we said slash smite geek player, and then the world name uh, nether, then that would be argument one. So it starts at zero, including zero, and counts up. So let's go ahead and convert the command sender to player. So that way we can do more things with it. So player, player equals parentheses player sender. So right here we have converted command sender variable sender, which is of the command, which is of the type command sender, to the type player. So now we're able to do more stuff with it. And this is called casting. So right now we have again converted sender to the type player from the type command sender. All right, let's go ahead and state the world that the player is in. So say world world equals player dot get world. Go ahead and import world. And there we go. So instead of typing player dot get world every time, we just type world. So the variable world is of the type 
world, and it's uh, short for player.getWorld. So now let's handle for when the command is actually executed. So let's say if command label e dot equals ignore case smite opening curly bracket. So right now we're saying if the command is smite and we're converting it to lowercase so it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or whatnot, as long as the command is itself is smite, then do the following. All right. So I'm going to leave this off as episode one so it's not too lengthy. And uh, when episode two is uploaded, you should be able to click it at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and leave tips or suggestions in the comment section below. <laughs>